Okay, uh, let's go back to this question with lenses and mirror. So what I have explained in class is wrong. Uh, so after I look at this question, I realized that uh, in class I told you that the image is formed inside the mirror, but uh, I make a mistake. Uh, this is because when I read part one, actually it says that the image of the wire is formed on the screen on the same plane as the hole. So where's the hole? The hole is actually here. This is your torch inside your light source. Then you have a box. In front, you have a tiny hole with a thin wire in between the hole. So the image is actually formed on the same plane as the hole. In fact, it is going to be formed at exactly where the object is. Yeah, so because of this, this is actually a very important hint. It gives you a lot of implication. So let's take a look at how to interpret this. Now, this is a ray diagram with a lens here. This is my wire, which is my object. I have my mirror here. The dimensions are given by the question. So in order for the image to form at the same place as the object, it means that after the light emit from the object gets bent by the uh, converging lens hits the mirror it has to go back okay on its original path if not it won't form an image on the exact location as the object for example let's say my ray is being bent this way now if let's say this is a typical light ray right so light ray get bent here if it hits the mirror at a certain angle okay by the law of reflection it is going to get reflected here and even if let's say it goes straight or whatever it cannot form this light ray after passing through the converging lens is going to get bent i do not know how it will get bent it, it can bend by this much but it is very unlikely that it will get bent to the position of the object. Now, what does this imply? This implies that in order for the image to form at where the object is, I cannot have a light ray hitting my mirror at an angle. The only way to ensure that my light ray goes back the way that it comes is that when the light ray actually hits my mirror perpendicularly. So if my light ray hit the mirror this way, the light ray is going to go back this way. Am I right? So because now if my light ray goes back the way that it comes, then it will get bent by the same amount of angle and then it will goes back to your object. So therefore, this information here, okay, give us an insight that the light ray after passing through the converging lens must hit the mirror perpendicularly now if you look at your textbook the one the page whereby you have uh, objects object distance uh, hold on uh, let me erase this the page whereby you have the different ray diagram for example uh, object distance that is more than 2f object distance that is less than 2f and things like that you flip to that page there is only one diagram whereby the light ray will emit out after it goes through the converging lens will result in a parallel ray so it will go this way 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 Okay, there's only one configuration and that configuration is when the object distance is equal to the focal length. So when the object distance is equal to the focal length, whatever ray that is being emitted by the object after it passes through the converging lens will become a parallel ray. So because it becomes a parallel ray, it will hit the mirror at 90 degree, meaning that after the light ray hits the mirror, it's going to get reflected and the light ray will go back the way that it comes. So by reversibility of light, it is going to return back to the object. So the image is going to, the sharp image is going to form on the same plane 
of this object and it will be at exactly where the object is. So because of that, you, com you can then confirm that your focal length is 20 cm because only when the object is at the focal point, then whatever light ray that is being emitted here, after it passes through the uh, converging lens, is going to become a parallel ray. And because it is parallel ray, it's going to hit the mirror at 90 degree, it's going to get bounced back the way that it comes. So therefore you got this. Now, to the second question, because this is a parallel ray, does this distance really matter? No right, even if you go and put your mirror at 90 cm, the ray is still going to be parallel ray. After it gets reflected by the mirror, it's still going to bounce back the same way that it comes. So therefore, for your part two, uh, the, 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 whether or not this change does not really matter. Okay? Uh, then I will leave the rest to you. The answer key is with you. Go and think about it. Okay? Good luck.